I'm here with Troy Foster from Bosch, and we're going to talk about smart cities. So, Troy, I am fascinated by the concept of the smart city, and, I, and, I, and it sounds brilliant, but I don't really know what it means. <laughs> what, what is a smart city? Well, that's, that's a great question. It could be <laughs> many different things, right? Um, so we're, we're looking at it as um, a specific vertical or use case within this broader area of Internet of Things, right? right. And it's because a lot of the same technologies are being used in the Internet of Things or smart cities. Right. But we look at it as we can ena really enable smart cities or this concept of smart cities by obviously connecting lots of things. Well, Bosch makes lots of things, yeah. uh, right? And lots of different types of things. So, but it's beyond just getting this, the connectivity to the sensors, right? So we can we can add sensors to things like parking lots or streets right. to enable this concept of uh, reducing traffic, uh, congestion perhaps in the city. Uh, for example, in the city of Monaco, we're doing uh, quite a bit of that right. with, um, in many different ways. You so, could be in your car and you can see that the car park you thought you were heading to is full right. way before you get there. So right. you then go, oh, I'll find another one at right. this place. Right, we find many people spent, waste a lot of time and money driving around in circles looking for parking. I'm one of them. <laughs> 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 so that would, oh, that's, well, that in one so, alone is an amazing thing. So that's yeah. that's a huge use case right yeah. there, but in, in many other cases, too, of things that you wouldn't even think about necessarily, like, right. um, for example, garbage trucks. Right. So city of Monaco, for example, is very small, yeah. and you, you need to collect the refuse, but you don't want to congest the traffic yeah. from, from the routes of the garbage trucks and such. So if you can more intelligently optimize the routes of the trucks right. or how people do their, their normal daily routine yeah. or whatever, yeah. um, if you can optimize that better, right. then you can reduce the traffic again and reduce costs and all kinds of good things. Yeah. So th really the concept about smart cities is we're, we're trying to enable new and interesting business cases, business models, right. uh, co reduce costs of course, make yeah. things easier for people to do. Um, all of these are wonderful things. I mean that it's just a simple fact of, of, you know, if you could manage traffic in the most benign way, you know, you're not stopping people doing or, or forcing them. To, but if you can go, well, that's re those streets are really full. Mm -hmm. Go that way, and you'll get there quicker. You know, right. that, I mean, would would reduce. I mean, and it, it, um, there's no way of doing that by legislation or putting a no entry sign up. But if if all the cars and and the streets are connected, I mean, I'm presuming yeah. that's the kind of the basis. Right, of it. and and we could do it by regulation, right? Yeah, we yeah. could we could regulate that cars do not come into the city center, but yeah. that's very inconvenient for the citizens, yeah. right? And they would prefer another solution. Yeah, and maybe we can offer them that yes. with, with yeah. something with some technology like this. Right, and then we can even look at uh, the concept of traffic extending to uh, pedestrians or other modes of transportation. At Bosch, we look at mobility in general. Right. Um, it doesn't matter how you move. It's yeah. you're moving. I'm in a car. I'm on a uh, e-bike. Yeah. I'm, I'm walking. I'm on a train. Yeah. Um, all of this is transportation and right. mobility, right? And, yeah. And for example, as cities get more dense, we want to maybe help that as much as we right. can. So, for example, in the city of Monaco, there are a lot of hills and yeah. things like that. Narrow, where you have, winding streets. And, right, yeah. where you have escalators and elevators right. that you need to contend with. So, for example, this is showing, well, there's a lot of people standing around this, right, that's this elevator. Yeah. Maybe there's something wrong with this elevator, right. you know, and I need to send out a service technician yeah. to look at it. Right. So, uh, so from the point of view of kind of general running of the city and maintenance, exactly. it gives the authorities much more information about what's going on. Exactly. Right. So the more you dig into the concept of smart city, the yeah. more and the more of these use cases start coming out yeah. and that yeah. you can now really enable with the concept of Internet of Things. Yes. Yeah. So that's I mean, that's the fascinating thing is that when you start that, you think what we'll do is we'll make sure all the car park spaces are monitored. But then that it immediately grows and you go, well, hang on, we can also do this. That must be an amazing job to have. Absolutely. Because right? yeah. it keeps expanding. Going, Actually, we can do garbage trucks. What about? Yeah. Delivery vans, yes. and, you know, yeah, no, it's it's, it's a because it's a completely different way of thinking about how a city operates in a way. Right, right, and then we can we can even look at just very simple things like monitoring the the level of trash in a in a trash receptacle, <laughs> right? Yes. So you know, why when sense, it's, right? Why send someone to empty it when it's only to. got a tiny bit in the bottom? Exactly. Right. So we can just put a tiny sensor in there yeah. and, and, and and take care of that very yeah. easily. Yeah. So all of this leads to, I think. Happier citizens, yeah. less cost. Of course, yes. that's the dream, right? It, it will take a while to get there. But. Yes, yeah, no, but it's fantastic. Well, thank you but, very much, Troy. That's really good. Thank you. Oh, Thanks absolutely. for your time. Thank you.